guys, so I'm in the kitchen today baking some holiday Christmas cookies and some other things. And I thought that I would share this recipe with you guys. It's my absolute favorite kind of Christmas cookie. My mom I've, has made these every Christmas since I can remember. And so now I'm taking over and making them myself. Um, so I just wanted to kind of walk you through. But if you like peanut butter and you like chocolate, most likely you'll love this recipe. So, um, and then kind of another little really simple, easy... I won't even call it a cookie, it's more like a chocolatey pretzel recipe. I'm going to show you that too because I'm doing that at the same time and it's seriously the easiest thing ever and they will be a huge hit at your holiday party. So starting with the peanut butter blossoms, you want to make sure that your oven is heated at 350 degrees, so go ahead and turn that on. And now I'm going to just run through all of the ingredients that you'll need for the entire recipe. So you're going to need a half a cup of butter, which is actually one stick. I went ahead and already melted it. Also, a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, packed, make sure it's packed. And then you're also going to need half a cup of peanut butter and a little extra scoop. If you guys are like peanut butter, like we do, you could put a little bit more, but um, that's that. So um, we're going to start and cream that all together. Um, you're going to add some milk, vanilla extract, flour, baking powder, salt, and one egg. So. I will, of course, put all of the ingredients and directions in the sidebar, but, um, and last but not least, you're also going to need some Hershey Kisses. Oh, and you might want to go ahead and get ready an extra little bowl of sugar. This isn't measured out. I just kind of put about half a cup in here, and I'll show you, explain to you what you'll need that for later. All right, so we are going to go ahead and put all of the ingredients into the little KitchenAid thing here. So here goes a half a cup of butter. And I'm just making sure to scrape it and get it all in. Also, half a cup of sugar. Half cup of brown sugar. You could use light or dark. I usually use the light. And then in goes your peanut butter. So your one extra scoop. Make sure you scrape it really well. Probably let Jake lick this. <laughs> Peanut butter is like his favorite thing. And a half a cup more. Okay. So, now we're going to mix this together. through and scrape the sides make sure that nothing is sticking to the sides and all of the ingredients are incorporated into the mix so once that looks good and creamy we're gonna go ahead and add our one egg like this making sure to not get any shell in the bowl also, two tablespoons of milk. This is a little Pampered Chef measuring tablespoon, and it's amazing. Highly recommend it next time um, you get invited to a Pampered Chef party. Pick one of these up because it's all you need. You don't need like six different measuring spoons. So two tablespoons of milk, followed by one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And this is just a little teaspoon version. But it goes from one teaspoon all the way down to like one eighth. It's amazing. And we're gonna go cream this together. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add our dry ingredients. This is one and three quarter cup of flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder. I just mixed it all in here. I'm going to put this on low and I'm just going to gradually add the flour mixture. 
into the batter. This is actually going to create the dough. You can see it's like a dough-like texture um, and you're actually pretty much done with the dough. So. Next thing, let me just grate this. All right, next thing you're gonna need a cookie sheet. You do not need to grease it. Here's where your little bowl of sugar comes into place. Let's see if I can go. And then of course you have your batter. I really like these little ice cream scoopers. I think this is a two inch one and I've said this in my cake pop video. I like it because every single, um, Cookie is about the same size. So you just want to scoop it, get it into your hand, roll it into a little ball, and then you're going to drop it in the sugar and make sure it's coated like that and place it on your pan. So obviously you're just going to do this with your entire batter um, until it's all done. So I'm going to come back, I will be right back as soon as all of my little cookies are on the tray and ready to go into the oven. Alright, so this perfectly made 24 little cookies. Um, I'm going to pop this into my oven, like I said, at 350 degrees for about 8 minutes. And um, meanwhile, you want to go ahead and unwrap 24 little Hershey Kisses while this is baking. So I will be back as soon as I take this out of the oven. All right, so it was eight minutes exactly, and now I'm gonna go ahead and take my little Hershey Kisses, and you kinda just press them into the middle, just like that. Um, I have to admit that peeling the Hershey Kisser wrapper, Hershey Kiss wrappers off of the morsels, is probably the te most tedious and annoying part about this whole recipe. Um, and usually, Nick does that for me, but he is not home right now to help me, so. But it's okay, because you can do that while the cookies are baking. So you basically just press these in like that. And um, this one's a little close. I didn't mention this, but you do want to make sure that they're spaced well enough apart so that they don't, you know, end up having a little collision inside your oven. <laughs> so you're going to finish this up, and then you're going to pop it back into your oven for three to four minutes. I would do three minutes and then take it out and just check the bottoms because the last thing you wanna do after you spent all this time is burn your cookies. Kind of fun. Fun little project. And they kind of sparkle because of the sugar. So that's it. And like I said, you're just gonna pop this back into the oven for like three to four more minutes and then they will be absolutely completed and delicious and then I'm going to show you a really really quick super super easy other recipe so I will be back all right for this next little recipe that I promise you will be a huge huge hit at your next Christmas party dinner an amazing thing to bring over um, to someone's house this is not necessarily a Christmas thing by any means um, my mom actually makes loads of these and then like puts them in those little cartons that you can buy at like Michaels and gives them out with her Christmas gifts to like people at work or the mailman. Um, this would be like a really nice little teacher gift or your hairstylist or something like that. So all you need is a cookie sheet, ungreased, unlined, a bag of these square pretzels. These just happen to be Snyder's, but I'm sure you could find like your store brand pretzels. Some milk chocolate Hershey Kisses. Um, I've never tried it with almonds or anything, but I guess you could experience, and some M&M's, all you need. So first step, we're just gonna pour these out onto the tray. Might be a little bit too much. And basically you're just gonna line, you're just gonna line your cookie tray with these square pretzels. And they're small, so you could see just how many you can make on one tray and they can totally touch and it's not going to be an issue. Again, you're going to have your oven preheating at 350 degrees. Um, 
I love these. And they taste exactly like a chocolate covered pretzel. Um, I will warn you ahead of time, they're incredibly addicting. So be wise, but Nick's mom really loves these too. And she mentioned that um, the reason she loves them is because you get that like salty and sweet taste where if you're like me or her, um, mixing like salt and sweets is a home run. I'm just gonna take some of these off because too many. And these are so quick and easy, like I said, so you could totally make several batches of these that will take you no time at all. You actually could load up two cookie trays if you wanted. I'm just gonna do one at a time. Those are my other cookies that are now done. All right, so you can just see how many I got on this tray. Now you're gonna take your Hershey Kisses and place one on top of each pretzel. Again, the hardest part and the most annoying part about this recipe is peeling off the wrappers. But I promise you, it will be worth it in the end. And this is gonna be a lot of Hershey Kisses here. And for those of you worried about calories, which you should not be around the holidays because the holidays don't count, I will have you know that each Hershey Kiss is only 25 calories. The pretzels I'm not sure about. They can't be more than 25 calories, obviously, because it's just a pretzel. And it's one little M&M. So while they might seem really fattening, really not all that bad for you. Okay, as you can see here, all of my little pretzel squares are covered with Hershey Kisses. I'm going to put this into the oven for two minutes. Now here again, you really have to know your oven. You cannot put these in for too long or you're just gonna get chocolate melted all over these. You still want them to be formed, but soft enough that you can press an M&M down in them. So, like I said, I'm gonna go in for two minutes at a time. We'll see how that goes. All right, it has been two minutes. We're gonna do a little test here. Take one M&M and kind of push it into the middle. Oh, perfect. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. I'll zoom you in. Go right here. Kind of just place it in the middle and press down. So two minutes in my uh oh, two minutes in my oven was the perfect time. But like I said, every oven is different. These do not need to be perfect. They're just very easy. And that is it. You are completely finished with this recipe and they're gonna taste amazing. Um, whoa, whoa. Like I said, incredibly addicting, amazing to give out with like in little cute fancy boxes. Um, great to just bring over people's houses any time of the year, but especially for this time of year, I'm gonna line my cookie tray, like separate my cookies with these. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this simple recipe and the peanut butter blossoms. I hope that you try out either or, or both, and let me know how they go. I hope that uh, you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Bye.